You probably remember in October of 2017, the very first interstellar rock flew through our solar system. It was called a Muamua. And it behaves so strangely that scientists from Harvard University say that it's possibly an alien probe. I'm not joking. A Muamua accelerated after leaving the sun and its trajectory disobeyed Newtonian physics. And afterwards, we saw that it was actually glowing pink or red. Now, it sounds a little strange, doesn't it? But you can actually download the paper. It's done by the scientists at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics Study. And you'll find the link to that study in the description below. Well, now there's a second one. August 30th, 2019 at Margo University in Crimea, they discovered what they're calling Comet Borisov. They're calling it a comet because this one has a plume behind it. I can think of some other things that might have a plume behind them too, you know, just saying, but it's probably just a bit of rock. It, it definitely looks like a bit of rock. Um, but this is only the second interstellar object we've ever seen come through our star system. It's a big deal. We're going to see it with the naked eye and it will be at its closest approach December 6 this year but you might be able to see it up to four weeks before and after. It's going to be extremely bright in the night sky. Uh, if you have a good telescope, you can find it right now. That's how we found it. It needs to be a fairly decent telescope. I would say at least an 18-inch telescope right now, um, and that'll get smaller as it gets closer, of course. Its orbit tells us that it has not been around our sun before, uh, it's actually coming from Cassiopeia. It's what we call a hyperbolic orbit. That means the uh, approach angle and its speed of 93,000 miles per hour, which is about three, almost four times as fast as any other objects we see floating around our star system. This thing is really moving. It's 41 kilometers per second, if you can imagine that. Uh, but that tells us that it's not been around our sun before, and it most certainly will not be captured by our sun's gravity, although the sun will completely change its trajectory, that's for sure. Right now, it's expected to pass just outside of Mars. It is 1.9 astronomical units from the sun. Now, an astronomical unit is the distance from the sun to the Earth, so it's almost the same distance away from us as the sun is. It has no potential of hitting us whatsoever. We're going to learn a lot about this, but unfortunately that's about all I have for you. We don't have a lot of data on this right now, but many groups around the world have turned their attention to learning everything they can about the second interstellar object in two years. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So this will actually probably be mainstream media news by the time it's visible in the sky. Uh, sky Guide has already added the object to their app i've been trying to find it in the sky with sky guide and you can download sky guide on the app store both for ios and android actually i don't know if it is for android but i suspect it is uh, i'm just assuming that so anyway we'll talk more about this as the data comes in so what are your thoughts isn't it a little odd that just two years ago less than two years ago we saw the very first interstellar object fly through our sun had all these weird anomalies. It gained speed after leaving the sun. Its trajectory did not obey Newtonian physics, and then it's glowing red. Uh, uh, so uh, now we've got another one coming, and so everyone's just like, well, this is very interesting, and everybody's watching it, and we'll see what happens. So put your thoughts below. I'd like to see what they are. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel. My next video is actually just about to drop. This has been Israel Anderson with IA Daily.